All right, in our last video, we talked about some of the concepts behind SE Linux. What we'll be looking at now is actually configuring SE Linux and changing some of the configurations. First thing you want to do with SE Linux to see whether it is enabled on your system. And the easiest way to do that is just to type the get enforce command. Get enforce will let you know if SE Linux is actually enforcing policies on your system and as you can see here I have SE Linux enforcing. There is a file that you can edit that will change the mode of SE Linux and if you go into SE Linux and into the config file here there are actually three modes we can have SE Linux in. Enforcing which means that it's working and active and enforcing the policies of SE Linux. You can also disable it and disable it sounds just like that disable it completely on the system, SE Linux will no longer enforce any policies at all. That is probably the least recommended of the three options because instead of disabling it permanently what you can do is set SE Linux to permissive. So if you're new to SE Linux and SE Linux is causing you some issues you can always set your system to permissive mode which basically negates the policy from taking effect but still logs what alerts SE Linux is aware of. So you can change it to permissive mode if you'd like to. Once again, if you disable it, you disable it on the system, and then if you want to re-enable it again, the system has to go through a whole labeling process because SE Linux uses these labels on all objects in the file system, all processes, user accounts. It labels pretty much everything with an SE Linux context uh, that it uses. So disabling SE Linux, while it sounds wonderful, and it is what a lot of people do, by the way, uh, is probably not the best course. The best, if you're not comfortable with SE Linux and you want to uh, practice or play with it a little bit but you don't want it interfering with your day-to-day -day work you could set it into permissive mode and I would do that by just changing this right here SE Linux equals enforcing to permissive and that would permanently set it to permissive mode the other thing that uh, is in here are the different policies that we can have enabled in SE Linux by default the basic policy that is enabled in most instances of SE Linux is the targeted process. Uh, that's the one we'll be looking at in, in this uh, lecture series. We do have another option of minimum and then we also have this MLS. MLS is a high level security, t think top secret security. There's a lot more things you can do with it and a lot more things that can go wrong and cause you aggravation. So by default, targeted is the standard mode, and that's the mode that you'll come across probably 99% of the time out in the field. So if I change any of those, I change any of those, that will make those changes permanent. Now I can temporarily change my mode by issuing the set enforce mode. So remember, we, we typed get enforce earlier. Oops and that showed me it was enforcing, I can set the enforce level by either putting a 0 for permissive or a 1 for enforcing. It's a binary based system, boolean based system I should say. So if I set it to 0 here, that will set it to permissive mode. So now SE Linux is still running, it's still logging, but it's not going to interfere with me doing something. And if I type the get enforce again, Sure enough, it comes back and tells me it's in permissive mode. But if I run this uh, SE status command, SE status will tell me not only what current mode it's in, but it'll also tell me what mode it is configured to go to when the system restarts. And if you see right here, the loaded policy is targeted. That was the policy I started out with. Mode. Its current mode is permissive. and the mode in the config file, that file we looked at, is enforcing. So if I reboot the machine, what will happen is SE Linux will go back into enforcing mode. So being able to use the set enforce command is great if you need to test something. And I'll, I'm going to demonstrate that actually in our next video where we start actually nailing down some of the commands that SE Linux uses.